Hello and welcome to how to use the dot product. The dot product is a node you can add to any actor and it looks like this. And it takes two vectors, vector A and vector B, and it does something called a dot product and outputs a scalar value. So what is actually a dot product and how can it be used? Well, dot product in its simplest form, what it does is it multiplies two vectors together and it then sums up the results of those uh, multiplications. So let's say for example you have x multiplied by x, y multiplied by y, z multiplied by z and then you add the resulting numbers up. So for example if we had in here in x uh, 2, 3 and 4 in this one we had uh, 3 1 and 5 2 times 3 and let's just put a make vector in to show this so 2 times 3 would give us 6 3 times 1 will give us 3 4 times 5 will give us 20 and then we add all those up and that would give us 6 plus 3 which is 9 plus 20 29 so the dot product of these two numbers, these two values, vectors, is going to be 29. So why is this useful? Well, it can be useful for one really good thing. And that is when you want to work out if something is facing the same way as it. In other words, it has the same vector as it. So what I've got down here is a simple math thing here where I put in two vectors and dot them and out them to a string. So I hit compile on this and drag my math vector into the world and down here I've got the vectors so let's say for example I'm facing x as 1 in each one so we're fa I'm facing I've got one actor facing x that way and another actor facing the exact same way when I show the result here it's going to print out 1 1 indicates that then they are facing the exact same way if vector 2 here was minus 1 show result would give us negative one that's because the actor is facing opposite to the actual first one so this can be a very useful technique to work out how to actually start determine if two uh, rotational vectors are the same now some other side effects you will find on here is if the angles are tangential so for example if I've got one vector facing this way and another one facing perpendicular to that over here then we're going to get a value of zero so to demonstrate that i'll put vector one here with x as one and in vector uh, two we'll put y as one and show result here will give us zero that's because one times zero is zero zero times one is one uh, zero sorry and zero times zero is zero and if you add zero plus zero plus zero you get zero so if an angle is tangential to another vector then you get two vectors that cancel each other out essentially now this only works when the two vectors are both normalized i.e they have the length of one so if you're dealing with a vector that is not the length of one you need to normalize it first and foremost let's say for example you want to find out if something is going the same way as something else so you can use get actor forward vector but you can also pay, maybe look at their velocity as well so if i get the velocity of an actor and then normalize this this will now can be used in a dot product with another normalized value to determine if they got the same velocity in i.e this same direction they're going in and that is the dot product uh, so it has uh, quite a few uses but the most common one is with rotational vectors to see if two rotations are the same thanks very much for watching if you want to see more videos about unreal and more nodes like this head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan lady where you can catch more videos by me early before anyone else from just one dollar a month thank you very much for watching make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you next time bye everyone